Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette. Here with the next live base build video and another Town Hall 10 one, but this one is something that I haven't experimented with that much. It's a dead zone uh, base design for Town Hall 10. I haven't seen any Town Hall 10s use it yet, but I want to try it out and I uh, haven't gotten a whole lot of chances, but I think it would be cool to do a live base build of it and let you guys try it out as well because I honestly don't know how well it works. I haven't done any friendly challenges or anything with it, but um, I've been experimenting with building some bases like it so uh, let's go ahead and get into this one see how this base shapes up and you can let me know in the comments whether you think it's a good idea whether you're gonna try it out or just how, how you think it's gonna work so anyway uh, let's get right to this one um, starting off with uh, the dead zone which will be in the middle of the base as uh, it usually is we'll go ahead and make it around this size we can adjust it as needed um, like that and we want to use these low level walls to actually make it one wider. We want to use these low level walls to kind of uh, be the dead zone filler because there's no point using the high level walls uh, just to waste them. So anyway, uh, let's fill these in like that. And I think the size is pretty good. Uh, we'll have put the inferno towers on either side of it, right like that. And uh, yeah, that's a good place and like that. That's good. Um, as far as this, actually, let's make the compartment an anti-bowler compartment around it. So they have to enter the compartment to shoot the Inferno Tower. Uh, it's like that and like that. Then let's put the CC over here with the, we'll keep the heroes uh, next to the CC. So it's kind of an offset clan castle, but uh, that it's not a big deal because the lure, uh, it, the CC troops aren't that powerful right now in Clash of Clans. So it doesn't really matter that much. Um, okay. Uh, let's put down, I guess we can start doing expos and like air defenses. So, uh, let's put the expos down next. Uh, we'll go ahead and put two over here and want to keep them somewhat central, but, and then we'll put the one there and let's slide everything over like that. The king is going to help kind of guard the queen is the hope. Um, so we'll, we can adjust him as we need, but anyway, that's how this base is going to look so far. It might be symmetrical, it might not, we'll just kind of play it by ear, uh, see how it goes. We can put down, I don't want to have them touching, but I just, I, I'm having a little trouble with air defense placement. Uh, I mean, I can, on this side it's pretty easy, we can put down the air defenses like that. Uh, on the other side though, how are we going to do this? Might have to put the expos a little more together, uh, like that or something. And we can have a wall separating them if we need. And then put down our air defenses like this. Because I'm seeing some dragons and some uh, various air combos starting to kind of creep back into the game. So don't want to be too sloppy with the air defense placement. Uh, even if the expos are on ground, you still should, uh, especially because of that, you can uh, make some adjustments. Uh, to help make your base a little better against air. So let's go ahead and I think just for the Just for the sake of this uh, base, let's go ahead and go like that. Just add another little compartment there uh, We can probably do it for each of these air defenses um, Unless I need these walls, I can always take it back But I think this would be interesting to have them kind of closed off like that Okay, uh, so that's all good from here, we're probably gonna have, just gonna start trying to fill in the compartments a little bit. We'll probably have one like, uh, like this or something. Uh, yeah, something around this kind of setup. And uh, probably go to right here. Um, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Uh, out like that, then up over here and get the king out of the way a little bit and uh, oops there we go and in like that so those are good they're kind of wide compartments hard to funnel bowlers or valks or whatever it is into them uh, and then right here we can do one more uh, these are kind of anti-queen walk uh, like that one more protect that air defense I don't think the queen can get the air defense, but if we have extra walls, we'll extend the compartment even farther. Um, one more. 
I think this base is kind of tricky though. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see how it shapes up at the end. But so far, I'm thinking it looks pretty good. Uh, so we have that over there. Still have plenty of walls left. Let's go ahead and uh, make kind of a big queen compartment out of this. We can go all the way up here, over, um, and out of those walls. Uh, sorry if you hear my dog in the background. Like Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, like that, and that's roughly the same size. I will put the king over here probably, but let's just hold on to him, put him over there for now as we think this through. Um, but anyway, the Inferno Towers look good. They can cover quite a bit of space, just all around this base. Uh, now they are kind of susceptible to a charge where the queen kind of makes her way in and takes out one of the Infernos. So we'll be sure to put some HP and some skeleton traps and stuff to try to defer uh, everything away from there. But in the meantime, uh, we can get some defenses down. Uh, air sweepers are probably pretty important, so let's take a look at where we want to go with them. I mean, not the whole lot of options. I kind of didn't really take them into account uh, at first, but um, air sweepers, where should they go? Probably want them defending the uh, Inferno Towers. So I don't see the harm of putting them like that. I mean, maybe they're more a little more attractive to Valks, but besides that, I mean... I don't see a huge problem with putting uh, them inside the Inferno Tower compartment. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. But, it, you know, going to go with that. And then we'll put, um, kind of lagging a little bit, our giant bombs like that. Uh, it's kind of like double sets to try to get some bowlers or something, get lucky there. So I think that's pretty good placement. Um, could put them on the other side, but uh, I don't know. Keep them there for now. Maybe we could do one of each, actually. Put one there, and then one like that. Right there. Okay. So that looks fine. We have the air sweeper. All right. Uh, from here, what we want to do is... Uh, okay. We have... How many walls? Eight walls. So I just kind of keep those as needed. Uh, let's fill in some more defenses, though. want to have some archer towers on the outside here, because... In case they try to funnel or something, I'll be putting some HP out on the outside of this base. So, I uh, want to have them there. What else? Fill in with some point defense and stuff up here. I uh, will put a cannon and an archer tower in each compartment. Oops, there we go. And same thing over here cannon, archer tower. And uh, we can even put some. One of each right there. Move these back one. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, <clears throat> from here, because uh, the thing is, if they want to do a queen walk from there to there, unless they enter the base, which would be difficult because the inferno's there, um, unless they enter, they have two expos the entire time. So that's going to require basically a rage at every point of the uh, of the walk. Uh, so. Let's go ahead and do our wizard towers right here. Um, I think that could be good to have some extra splash damage and stuff. So put the wizard towers there. As far as the Teslas, I'm liking kind of this area or something. Kind of throw them in here in some way, maybe up in here. Uh, just uh, make it a little tricky. Uh, we can actually even close it off like that. Actually, I don't have enough walls, but that's just an idea, is do something with that. Uh, yeah, so we'll just keep those Teslas there for now. Uh, okay, and then we'll put a few in here, and we'll have to throw some buildings to cover that up. Can we fit? Nope. Okay, how are we going to do this? We'll just go like that, like that. And like that, okay. Um, a couple cannons, we can put a cannon there, back there. Um, I have these mortars still, which I can throw down in some random spot. Put mortars here, and uh, over in the bottoms here. Okay, it's still filling in defenses. Uh, let's put some storages by these Teslas, if I can even fit them. 
Okay, that's fine, I guess. And uh, I'm worried there's no point defense by this Inferno, so it's going to be too easy. Yeah, I can't have that. Uh, it's get a little tricky. Town Hall 10 bases are always harder to build than, you know, a Town Hall 9 or something like that. So uh, let's put some cannons there. Probably want some point defense up here, to be honest, too. So we'll put Archer Towers uh, like that. There, we have a little more point defense now. Plus, we have the Expos in the area. Uh, and the Queen's going to help out over there, too. Let's throw the King down in right here. And then we'll just put the DE storage on the other side uh, like that. Okay, we're going to slide the King in, actually. Uh, slide him into right there would be nice. And then into right there. I'm a little concerned that Valks are going to hurt this compartment, so sorry about that. Uh, so I'm going to try not to have every building touching. And then put another Archer Tower right there. And uh, I think we're pretty good on this on this base here. Uh, why don't we just load this area with point defense? There, now we have a ton of point defense in the area. Um, Anti-Queen Walk, though, got to keep that in mind. Let's try to put that back so she can defend against Queen Walk. Same with this. Same with the uh, the Expo. So we have those there to help uh, prevent them from doing... Actually, why don't we just go ahead and throw all this stuff back if we're going to go this route. Uh, like that. Like that. And we'll put walls right there. Okay, not bad, actually. I like this so far. Um... Okay, and let's put the town hall, last but not least, right smack in the middle, sort of, uh, right there. So that's a pretty solid compartment right there. It's going to be difficult to do much with, especially with the HP there. Uh, we can throw this over here for queen walks and stuff. Not a whole lot, but it'll it'll do something. Um, okay. Uh, I don't want to put all the outside buildings around here, but what I can do is I can expand this one, one over. And if this was like a real base I was building, I would probably try to put the lower level walls in a more strategic place where it doesn't matter if they're low level. But for this base, I'll just go ahead and fill them in wherever I need to. Uh, so the air defenses are definitely protected now. I didn't do the math on that, but now for sure I'm, they are now protected. I have four walls to spare. Uh, I could put them pretty much anywhere. Uh, I mean, doesn't really matter, but I guess I will, uh, actually it's a pretty tough CC lure. I don't think they can even lure the CC that well. Yeah, so it actually worked out okay there. Um, but I guess I would just, you know, throw the walls somewhere and like make one compartment bigger, like right like that. And that wall, there it goes. And uh, same with over here. And then I guess I'll just expand out one farther even, why not? Boom, boom. And I mean, it doesn't really matter. These walls aren't gonna make a huge difference, but it's always good to finish with a few extra. So if you guys saw something and this was your base, you could uh, fill in a few extra walls somewhere. Did I get all the defenses though so far? Have the two mortars, that's what I was forgetting. Uh, so as far as the two mortars go, probably place them uh, in like a strategic place like over here and over there. And then as far as my other HP, I might put that up here just because a queen walk still could be viable. So I want to try to delay that as long as possible, take up as much time as possible. Um, so, I mean... This base definitely has its weaknesses, but that's kind of what Town Hall 10 is, you know. Got to compromise um, sometimes. Now, what I would do here is, if someone's going to do a queen charge, my guess is they're going to do it from the left side because there's the expo here defending that inferno. So sometimes you kind of kind of sell out and put all your stuff on one side. So that's exactly what I'll do there, is I'll just load up on scaly traps, and that way you can hopefully defend that inferno tower a little better. We'll go ahead and put one black mine by each of these. We'll double up on the one opposite from the queen, because that's probably the most likely place they'll be coming. Um, and then one for each there. So uh, as far as these little red bombs, we want to double up here 
because there's no air defense coverage. They could try to get a little cheeky with the balloons. So these will definitely ruin the day if they try that. And uh, last but not least, just put the one like right by these wizard towers. I do have one giant bomb left actually. So uh, what I probably will just do is put it like right here. Just add to the carnage if they come from that direction. As far as spring traps go, uh, I mean, you gotta look at where Valks or Bowlers might come through. These are definitely some very high value locations uh, to put these because def they'll uh, almost definitely do some spring trap damage. They'll probably fling a few things off. So put those there. And then some people put them by the Infernos. I, I'm not a huge fan of that. I think I just put my giant bombs there, call it good. And we'll put a few uh, here, kind of in the between all these buildings. Uh, let's go ahead and just double up right here. Why not? Uh, but that looks good, actually. The whole base is pretty solid. And uh, sometimes it takes a little bit extra to just get a minor killed or something. So you can use these as wall breaker killers. Uh, pretty much either one is a valid option. Should turn my notifications off, so sorry about that. But pretty much any use of those is good. Some people have said it can use them for wall breakers. Yes, that still works, but sometimes people bring a test wall breaker anyway. So you're not getting a whole lot of value, but uh, either one is fine. And uh, I think this one's a... This one's done. Uh, this is the base. Go ahead and go into photo mode. I think it looks pretty solid. I mean, it has a few weaknesses. The infernos aren't that protected, but there's definitely that dead zone, which will make it hard to kind of get in there and get both with the same push. So uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps if you're at Town Hall 10, and be sure to check out my other base builds uh, for more information, more tips. Uh, have a whole have like three or four playlists of defensive type videos like this. So we'll show the walls real quick. That's what it looks like. Has the town hall there too. Um, but yeah, got that one decoration too. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. Like I said, I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.